So guys, I got a little visitor. A little cat. Look at him running. Look at him. He like, God darn it, she didn't block me. So he's hiding behind our car. Oh Lord. I don't want to hurt him. I just don't want him to eat up my vegetables. That's it guys. He that's I think it's my neighbor's cat. Look at him. Any chance he get his you could barely see that's a shame. That man need to cut that yard. Guys, I just had to run out here and show y'all that. <laughs> Well, hello everyone. Well, really, really quick surprise. Good morning, everyone. We have our corn that's sprouting. Right there. You see our corn? People might be keep saying, girl, is it too late? No, it is not too late. So, I have, um... Good morning, everyone. Malia says good morning, which is really good evening for us. It's 12. <laughs> so, we have corn, and we have our blue lake green beans in this particular one. And that's the short one with the little zinnia in the middle. But what we come out here for today is to... I need to measure my trash can. Malia, can you hold this? Yeah. While I'm uh, doing this... So I went out, back up, can you make sure you can see me. So I went out and got my trash cans, remember? Uh-huh. And uh, so what we, and I, I told you I didn't have elastic, so we, I went to get some elastic. So in order for me to make this a fitting top, I'm gonna put it around here to see how much elastic I need for my neck. We got about like, that's one one trash can that we have, and we got one over there, and one all the way back there. So we're measuring this one right now. So, so far I need at least this much to make it a, a, a nice fit, but I might, of course I'm gonna stretch it, me pull it to make sure it's tighter. And this is gonna be hand stitched. Yep. So we can stitch that one back there. And when it cool off, we'll do some more watering. You guys see the tomatoes? They're ready to uh, over here. Come off. He came out yesterday, and I said I was going to get them on the day. So I probably won't come and get them off until tomorrow. Mean tomorrow. I mean tonight. Down there. Like all these are starting to get red. And here's some banana peppers. So, Malia, what is your best part of the garden? Um, I like when we plant stuff. But what is the favorite? What is your favorite thing to uh, come out here and do in the garden? Um, I like to see if, like, if we need watering and. And like to just look at them because they're pretty. They're pretty. Mhm. Mm like that. So you like the zinnias? Mhm. Mm Do you like harvesting? You have learned how to harvest. Yep. So what what have you harvested so far? Some tomatoes and some okra. And What, what, what did you carrots. harvest in a pink pool before? The carrots and what else? Peas. Peas, kale, mm -hmm. collard greens. Mm -hmm. So we're retrying our what this time over here in this bed? We're retrying uh, some beans. And what else? And carrots. No. Uh, in this bed. This one? Uh huh. Uh, corn. We're doing the corn in this one too. Yep. Oh, I see one over there. Yep. 
The carrots is in this bed over here. They're going to take a couple days before they start fuzzing up. So, what is the hardest part in the garden? Uh, watering. Watering. Because what do we have to do? We ha Like, every time we have to, like, water it, we have to, like, go in the house. And then when we're done, we have to go back out, go in the house, and then go back out again, and then go back in the and house. And how many jugs do we have at each time? About, like. When we come out each time, we bring in how many at one time? Two. Two. So we're making a lot of trips, huh? I know. Okay. So what would you tell little kids that want a garden? Um, Is it fun? Yeah. Is it educational? Are you learning something? Because mm -hmm. you're learning how to garden. Like, if you want to garden, like, you'll already know how to garden. Right. So I call you guys my chickas. So, what do you have at home? To what did Mama bought you guys? Um, Some little what? The little bitty ones y'all got at home. What? The little three things y'all got. The surprise your mom had bought you. That y'all got to get a little house for. Uh, uh, my mom she surprised us with three uh little chickens. And when they get big, what are they gonna do for you guys? They're gonna let give us like some eggs so we don't have to buy any. Good job. Okay, well guys, y'all heard it from Malia. She's always out here working with me. So now we gotta finish this project and I'll show you the after um product once we get it done. And that's Matter of fact, on that one, Malia, go ahead and take that thing off and bring it in so I can do them both at the same time. She's such a good helper, guys. She's just um, a little one. I want to put her at 12, but she's just like eight. <laughs> but she have been working um, gardening for like a year as well. And um, we did, I made her and her little sisters some boxes. So we're going to go and fill those up pretty soon. We're going to uh, find out what she likes. We're going to find out what she likes um, to grow. And once we find it, put the top back on it. Once we find out what she likes to grow, then um, we're going to actually start them in the house over here. Um, and if it's something that can be directly sold, once we fill her bed up, we're going uh, we're gonna to do that. Can you close the gate? Mm -hmm. So, yes. So, guys, I hope you're enjoying uh, this small update. And I will show you what I do with this netting. Thank you. So guys, this is the after product kind of, I kind of rushed it, believe it or not, I was actually hand stitching that knitting around that elastic, but I was like, uh, not even thinking I could, once I got the elastic around, I was able to tuck the uh, knitting. So what I did was I took the knitting, this one here um, is not sewed, so I took the knitting the elastic and I, t I, I put it around it. I did sew the elastic at each end to connect and I just tuck the knitting. So the way it looks on the top and it, because it's black you might be able to see the knitting is up here. It's going across the can. I put the white mesh stuff on it so hopefully it'll prevent any extra like leaves from uh, getting in it. And we supposed to get about 20% chance of rain. Hopefully that happened. And then this one down here is the one I actually started knitting. And this is the first one I measured. And I actually measured too much because I actually put it under the rim. But if you can tell, I had started knitting it. And I did knit it uh, majority around. So I want to see... Um, how it holds up to this 20% chance of rain. It may rain early. It may not even rain at all. You know, 20% um, is not much. It's at around three and it's right at that three o'clock mark. So we just have to see if anything's gonna happen and if anything's gonna fall in those uh, trash cans. So stay tuned guys.